This unit is called the Aqua Grove. A uh, business created an aquaponic system, uh, a symbiotic loop here, just like most of my systems. The business created this to go into more retail spaces, maybe the doctor's office, replace the old aquariums that used to be in there with more of a living system with fish and plants. So it's a combined system just like any of our systems. I've got tilapia down below. I have to determine the feeding rate to feed this amount of fish, how much to support this amount of grow bed. And I've got this one tweaked out at maybe about 20 grams a day. I feed this tank. Um, so I get perfect water quality for the fish. My plants don't show nutrient deficiencies when I manage it properly. Um, the plants above are on a floating raft. Um, these are T5 fluorescent lights. Uh, we will swap these out soon with LED lights. We're using a media that's a Jiffy plug. So this is a Jiffy cocoa plug. When I put this plug in water, it swells up. And then I drop a seed in. So I seed in the system in this one. And I've got that Jiffy plug there with a the seedling. The roots are dangling in the nutrient rich water. I've got oxygenation under the uh, grow bed as well as in the fish tank. And then we just monitor this uh, just like any other system. My kids will do the ammonia, nitrite, nitrate. Uh, the way I talk about aquaponics, it's more about the fish. Um, aquaponics belongs in the hands of the fish farmer. So if we know how to manage fish, we should be able to remediate our water using plants without much more skills. Um, although I do, after a couple years in my program, I tell my students when they finish graduate, uh, graduating, they have a wet thumb and they have a green thumb. And that's really what it's going to take to get a job in this industry. A lot of my students already have the green thumb when they come here, but we're trying to teach them all this aquatic microbiology and management of water quality. So it really is going to take a green thumb and a wet thumb to work in this industry. Okay, again, the Aqua Grove. Cool. So we just looked at the aqua grove and with any aquaponic system, we need to figure out a feeding rate. Um, I know a feeding rate, I can feed the fish X amount of feed per X amount of plant area and that's usually what I do. Uh, I use the same recommendations at Kentucky State, uh, X amount of fish feed per square meter of grow area. So in a simple system like the aqua grove that we just uh, talked about, I mentioned that I feed that system 20 grams of fish feed every day. So what that allows me to do is have perfect water quality for the fish and no nutrient deficiencies for the plants. And just like with any recirculating aquaculture, even pond aquaculture, we can look at how much do the fish eat at grow out. So typically the recommendation is fish are going to feed about 3% of their body weight every day in the grow out. So if I say 3% of what equals 20 grams, this will tell me what biomass I need to put in that fish tank. So if I do 20 grams of fish feed over 3% equals X, that tells me in that fish tank, I need 667 grams of tilapia in that fish tank to eat 20 grams of fish feed every day to support the system. So a very simple calculation based on the percent body weight per day will tell me how much to feed a tank and then I do the calculation to get my biomass that I need to put in that tank. So if I start with about 667, I'll feed them 20 grams every day. Obviously, they're going to grow. So I, they will be underfed for the next few months slightly. But anytime I want, I can call a fish out of here and bring it right back down to the 3%. So it's not rocket science, but there's a little bit of science to aquaponics. Okay. Um, as far as fish feed, that's obviously a crucial selection, what you're going to feed your fish. I've chosen to uh, use a feed called Optimal Fish Feed. Optimalfishfood.com would be the website. Um, this was designed by one of my former professors, doc Dr. Stephen Craig, worked at Virginia Tech for a long time. So he's the lead nutritionist in this company. They've designed a, a feed that's not just for fish, but it's actually for fish and plants. So this has been over-formulated a little bit with nutrients that the plants require. 
The fish, for instance, don't need excess iron, but my plants need the iron. So this has extra iron formulated in the fish feed, so when the fish waste, it goes up to the, and supports the plant bed. Um, the other marketing tool or gimmick on this that you may take advantage of is there's no GMO ingredients. So almost all of our commercial fish diets now have GMO corn and soybean. These are using non-GMO ingredients. Whether that's a, uh, a you, you have a feeling towards GMO or not, I think that this is a marketing advantage that you could use in the marketplace. So I can, uh, in the farmer's market, I can say that I'm using this food to my advantage. I'm not supporting GMO companies like Monsanto Bear. Uh, I'm supporting natural organic farmers. Um, that's who supplies these corn and soybeans in this ingredient.